Well, it's much later in the day. If anyone saw earlier 7 Eleven uh, drawing and comic strip, uh, uh, I did the. Is it? Hmm. So it is. Anyway, I did the um, borders around here so it had the chance for them to dry so I don't want them to smudge. And while I was at it, I did the lettering on that one and characters on that one and finished this one. Which you didn't really need to see. So the, <clears throat> the reason why I wanted to do this is I wanted to show how a Google Morgue was used. And uh, my hope was that I pop into Google search and uh, I'd find an interesting looking mic, um, bullhorn. But um, I'm amazed at how boring all bullhorns are. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I, well, I... I really did not need to uh, um, look up what a bullhorn looked like because it's all like very basic. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing special about it. So, uh, 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 so you know, uh, uh, I wanted to show how you reference, how you source from Google. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, something that. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, it's amazing how um, uniform and unoriginal all bullhorns are. Well, maybe that's why it has that name. Like, maybe if you said a... Here's a red, red one. Horn, you know, obviously Here's a red one with a couple of stripes. Who, why can't they be like a steampunk bullhorn? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> well, maybe that's called something different. That's maybe the bull. Horn is a particular type. So, alas, all best laid plans, as it were. Uh, it was pretty uh, obvious that a uh, bullhorn is just uh, rounded on this end. Woo! And it's not even all that tapered here. And then I can make an artistic license and just toss that there. And a second, and wow, we've, um, that's more or less all that's gonna appear there. <laughs> uh, well, <clears throat> get back to the first panel. Now, uh, we have the evil cat boss on the on a stool. Let's get his cat nose, his dark Darth Vader maw, and the rest of his helmet going. See, I would do the light pencil, then I just have to walk away uh, and not look at it for a while. So I can come back with sort of a fresh mindset, and it's, easy. it's, it's less boring, I guess you could say. You can your day. It's your schedule. Now, uh, I'm guessing his little paw is going to have to go that way and that and that and that. And, and it's a pistol grip. A little button he's pressing there. And we'll style this backwards a bit. Here we're looking at the bullhorn over here. So... I guess I can say there are two screws there, and one ring, two rings, not much of a taper, but, and he's holding it up to his, uh, I guess he's sighting it like a rifle. He's holding it a little bit high. Yeah, no one will notice that. Now that's just how I started drawing it. And it's quite a, Flare to the loud opening. Go. And well, gee, I'm really glad I uh, 
went on Google Images to find out what one of these things looked like, because I'd hate to screw it up, because people would be sending me stuff saying, that's about what a bullhorn looks like, you hack. <laughs> people sending you the same Google <clears throat> image over and over again. Mm. <laughs> Christ's sakes, learn how to draw a bullhorn. <laughs> I'm going to get into a lot of trouble in the last panel when I draw a gun. <laughs> what kind of gun is that? Uh, it's a 1911 uh, uh, 45 caliber, um, um, sir. Okay. <laughs> what manufacturer? Uh, that looks like a Kimba. Uh, you, well, no, actually, it's a Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson don't make those any. Uh, Okay, a little black tip to his tail. And again, we said the most expressive thing about a cat is his tail. He probably should be a little bit pissed off, but he's excited. Okay, and I said that I wanted to put him on a stool. Gee, can I go onto Google Images and look up stools? Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll have a nice example and I can show. Well, see, stools usually look like this, but I've decided that I'm going to use artistic uh, license and make them look like that. But no, no. I think about the only thing I should do is make the legs a bit straighter. can use a say we'll say the audience is down below always we can do a bit of perspective on the what do they call these treads uh, if anyone knows what they call these things on a stool keep it to yourself I don't want to know <laughs> and we'll just say to that point, to that point. Bingo, bongo, bongo, bongo. And somewhere back there is another leg. Now, how do I find that other leg? Oh, wherever these lines meet. I guess the other leg's about right there. And it should be about the same height as this sucker. Ta-da, stool. Now, the uh, background is going to remain about as normal as possible. It's, it's the layer, you must understand. Uh, I probably should sharpen the pencil here a bit. I use a uh, um, pencil with softer lead for this, so it'll be darker. These happen to be uh, Blackwing. A long time ago, they were, well, this is Quincy Jones's favorite pencil. I helped you out. A long time ago, they uh, stopped making them. And for a while, these things went for like 50 bucks a piece on the internet. That was back during the early days of eBay. And Palomito picked up the Copyright, I guess you got patent or copyright? Yeah, with a, a license to make them. And now you can buy yourself, well, get yourself a lovely box of them like this for 20 bucks. <laughs> 20, 20, 20. Okay. So, bow is three, four, eh, five. Bow is his uniform buttoned up, kind of professional like. 
put this pocket on a slight skew because he is leaning down. Uh, there are two buttons there. And pinky, middle finger, index. I oftentimes forget there's a stripe along the side of the pants like a cop might wear. Now this shoe is facing you, which is why it looks like that. And this one's going to the side. He's uh, man-spreading. Belt. And you don't see the stripe on that pant leg because it's facing away from you. Dino's little earring. That's what that is, an earring. Now, Dino wears his uniform a little bit more casually. He's got a black t-shirt on underneath and it's open to like the third or fourth. Catch, one, two, three, four, five catches in all. Belt. And people sometimes wonder what this is. This is the cat's paw in a punch. They work for a evil cat, evil cat supervillain. You know, he likes to paw with or play with his enemies, thus the cat's paw on the belt. Something no one would ever know if I hadn't said that right now. Okay, pocket. In your hen it's always good in your henchman uniform to have plenty of pockets. When I was a henchman for Home Depot, they didn't give us enough pockets. I think they were afraid we were going to steal. Got that little Abner stance. Slightly bent knees. Mm -hmm. I said he has that little Abner stance with the slightly bent knees. Ah. And I didn't know who you had said. You know we're recording over here, right? I'm sorry? You know I'm recording over here, right? What, what, what? I'm sitting here mumbling to myself and you think like, well, nah, it's no, right. normal day. Normal day in the life. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to my podcast in here. <laughs> ah. All right. And... There's actually a lot more work to be done in this background, but I want to stick with the characters. See, I still have to draw the shelf and the books in the background. I still have to do the perspective drawers. Maybe after I finish, I'll do them. Well, after I finish the characters, I'll go back. Uh, Close-up of Evil Cat Boss. You get a good look at what he looks like. Those sinister dark eyes. Of course, if he's a cat, he has to be a supervillain. Tiny little Windsor knot here. Which 
all gets inked black so no one notices. Shoulder my pads. And let's see, the lapel would come this way and that down. I'll just do a white shirt there, so it's black, that's black, that's black. All that's white. Uh, let's see, this would be coming down a bit before it's going up. And claws just caressing the edge of the microphone. This other hand is underneath holding the actual handle. Good enough. And with a punch line, let's sharpen it up again. Most relaxing thing in the world. Sit here at your drafting board. A rainy Monday. Rainy Monday evening. But so, a nice day, even though it was a rainy Monday. Yeah. This is coming from an arthritic who's feeling the, every inch <laughs> of that rain pain. Let's see. Get the pants up slightly more than the jacket. Sandals. Sandals go well with a suit. Oh, I forgot his tail. I think his tail should be ag angry, so he's all frizzled. It's going straight out. Uh, uh, Bow in his boxer shorts. Sadder, I think. He's uh, he's scared. Um, let's see, bony shoulder, no clavicle, deltoid, bulging bicep. <clears throat> Elbow, down like that. Yeah, I don't think I like that right there. And the problem is with these pencils is they're very difficult to erase. How that work? Uh, man boobs, slight paunch, which continues over there, and and we can. leg. Socks are quitters. Yeah, half fallen down. And really see the leg of the stool because his leg's blocking it. And the back and actually the, the adjustment arm and this is a spring you turn for the lumbar support. Uh, now do you know eyes at a casual half mast just Looking that way, mm -hmm, nothing's going on. I don't see the boss. I'm pretending not to see the boss. Earring.
more of a pronounced posture punch because he's standing. So he's got the squash for sitting. And Dino's got a little bit more of an elongation because he's standing. And he's wearing tidy whities So I have a waistband, fly. And he's wearing similar socks to Bose because actually they're probably Bose socks. Now, Mia, let me sharpen my pencil for her. Let's see, here goes that, that, and that, and then we have here one, two, down. Sometimes a little bit of hair in the back, so it's a little bit of a length to her hair. Uh, well, as I sit now, we'll start with these. A little bit of cleavage. More rounded shoulders where the guys have the bony up there. Uh, thin waists, larger hips. And she's wearing these big old unflattering granny panties. and knee-high stockings. Oh, hey, okay, how about a belly button? Belly button, belly button. Forgot the belly buttons. All right, as I said, I was gonna go back and <clears throat> fix the background. Finishing off bows. Okay, this shelf is always just about the height of the top of the cabinet. Bookend. Give the book some character. All right, now the file cabinet. Two, three. That's a... close enough. Now you remember we put the vanishing point. There we go. Remember we put the vanishing point over here. Connect that point, that point, and make the drawers for the cabinet.
can't see his computer, which is blocked by this cubicle wall. But let's get the back wall of the cubicle, about right there. And all the rest is black. We'll just do a simple word balloon. While we're at it. <clears throat> and let's finish the background of the office here. So I probably can get away without doing any uh, perspective on this. So, there's the bookend. That one book that was leaning is a little bit taller than the wall. It's leaning next to this big thick book that's about that height. That book has a and it's next to this book. Probably all I'm going to have to draw. All right. Hmm. I feel like I should have something here. Thought originally maybe I'd have them like on a curved balcony sitting up. But um, then why would he be on the stool? Oh, he's on the stool because he's on the same level as these guys. That's why I sort of had the uh, horizon line close to the same level. I'm just... It's just weird to have this blank area in front of him, but... He's shouting at nobody. All right. That was quicker than I thought it was, would be. <clears throat> Gee, and I thought I'd be able to use a Google image to show... Uh, this is how I resource a reference. So, are you done working over there? Am I what over here? Are you done working? Am I coloring you? <laughs> Do I have to crack the whip? <laughs> I colored Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of not this coming week, but the next week already. And I have most of Thursday and Friday done. You know, I hadn't thought. Um, maybe people haven't seen part one and two. Attention, handle, attention all henchmen. A secret agent has been spotted on the premises. All uniformed henchmen are ordered to sacrifice their lives in a futile defense of their lair. And... They take off the uniforms. Hmm. Oh, the gun. Hey, yeah, I do have something I can reference. All right. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is big time excitement. Let's get in the tablet. Did that without showing you my password. <laughs> Will you stop doing that? Uh, Google search. Backwards. Uh, one, nine, one, one. That should do it. Yep. I knew it. All right, let's see. Just for, just for uh, cleanliness sake, maybe I get one that goes in the same direction. Oh, maybe that one. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, it's facing to the left. Um, gee, that might do it. Yeah, okay. That's what we're drawing. The, the holster in the background makes it a little bit difficult for you guys to see, but it works fine for me.
gun people are very particular about you having that gun exactly accurate. It's very important to them. Notice my ability to completely ignore my wife. I'm good at that, ain't I? And there you go. Simple as simple.